So again, Dragon continuing to get closer and closer to the recovery vessel, Megan. You see some of those uh, ropes now uh, coming into view as well. If you are just joining us, Crew 9 splashed down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida at 2.57 p.m. Pacific time with NASA astronauts Nick Haig, Butch Wilmore, Sonny Williams, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov. They're now working through procedures uh, to hoist this, this spacecraft up onto the recovery vessel Megan. We just saw that hydraulic arm get lowered into the lifting position. That arm will be the mechanism that is utilized to lift Dragon up and out of the water and into the, uh, the nest located there at the aft end of the recovery vessel. And the recovery vessel being used today is, um, as we mentioned multiple times, is named Megan, but that's actually after NASA astronaut Megan MacArthur, who flew on Crew 2 a couple of years ago. We're getting some views now from actually on so inside the boat. Yeah, Drag you're exactly right. Uh, this view is uh, straight down the recovery vessel. Uh, that platform that was closest to the camera, that is the egress platform. Freedom, rigging is almost complete. Approximately five minutes until capsule lift. Great news there from SpaceX 4. So about five minutes left until we see Dragon Freedom get lifted out of the water. That hydraulic arm, as I said before, is the mechanism that will lift it. Uh, it's it's quite swift, actually, the, the whole process of getting the, the spacecraft. Brace for capsule lift. Bracing. There it goes, Dragon Freedom being lifted out of the water and onto our recovery vessel, Megan. So once securely on... Uh... Welcome aboard the recovery vessel. Recovery personnel are completing final checks and stand by for translation to the egress platform. Freedom copies. Great news there, letting us know that Dragon Freedom has been successfully recovered from the water's surface. If you've just joined us, we had an on-time splashdown at 5.57 p.m. Eastern Time, and we can now see that the uh, water recovery operations uh, are continuing to progress. The nest where the Dragon spacecraft is located is going to um, get moved forward. This will happen after one of the recovery crew members uh, does some checks and uh, we'll also see some hosing. Obviously, the spacecraft splashed down in salt water. Salt water is corrosive and we want to try and rinse out as much of